and you're watching 8 bit days a week I'm gonna be playing a game based from a movie so you probably expect that um, this doesn't get any recognition these days and there you see it this is Sega's Alien 3 The Gun so I suspect this will play something like uh, the Jurassic Park that I played a few videos ago. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah it is. It's an on-rail shooter. This um hmm. If you actually remember the last time on when I was playing uh, Jurassic Park, I was commenting about how it's actually difficult to control the crosshair. This one is much better. That's my first impression right now. Ah, uh, face hugger. I hate those things. So yeah, l I know it's not the same experience since I'm not using a gun, I'm just uh, moving the cursor with my uh, D-pad and just hitting the trigger, trigger button, um, that is the X button actually, <laughs> on my controller. But yeah, this is definitely playable. It's obviously not perfect, but I think you don't have much options if you want to try this game. There you see some graphical glitches and uh, This is turning out to be much better than the actual Alien 3 movie, though. Because I was massively disappointed with that one. Oh. Super face hugger. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Hey, I have a bomb. getting closer and in case I haven't said it earlier I really hate face huggers okay die already all right 69 aliens killed including a super face hugger that doesn't sound right all right moving on and we're back here open up um okay So at least this is an experience. Um, uh, I do believe ugh. and everyone, you know, if you have a uh, classic or a pie uh, and you have the space, um, even if you don't have, uh, even if you don't really like uh, games like these, 
I think uh, you, you should at least experience it. I uh, definitely recommend this over the Jurassic Park one. But we're facing xenomorphs instead of aliens. Because the Jurassic Park just felt... The cursor movement just felt weird. Kinda hard to control. And uh, since your character there is like riding on a vehicle or he's running, I don't know. The screen keeps constantly move. We said my mom, but who cares? So it's kind of hard to get a bearing on where you should be pointing your cursor at. Unlike this one, since you're just walking casually, killing all the aliens, it's fine. You can properly aim your cursor to the aliens. And as if aliens weren't enough, I'm facing some machines. It's kinda... Kinda telling me to try out the Terminator 2 uh, Judgment Day arcade as well. I think this, it should play similar to this one, but that's not from Sega. Alright. The graphics look terrible at this point. Because there's supposed to be some environmental effects there. It's not coming out properly. I think, but it's fine, it's still playable. So I wonder what's the deal with those robots though, did, uh, were those like from uh, face huggers and something bursted out of a robot or something, resulting in a hybrid alien robot? I'm facing a tank. So is, is there like an alien pilot in there? <laughs> Alright, throwing bombs here and there and the life doesn't seem to be going down. So this is kinda rough. Alright, the sound sounds terrible. The effects. Alright, just a little more. Oh, finally. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't really do anything. Those grenades or bombs, I mean. Okay, there you go. Well, I think that's it for this. This is Sega's Alien 3, the gun arcade game running on the PlayStation Classic. Um, hope you enjoyed. You're watching 8-bit days a week. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.